Apocalypse Gaming. Hi folks, we have another set of Vampire Wars figures from Westwind that I'm going to be using with my um, Empire of the Dead game. So, we have London Civilians. I think there's 11 civilians in here, if I remember right, or 11 models. I can't remember, but you'll discover as I do it. Um, so again, there's Westwind's details. The Vampire Wars figures, as I mentioned on my review of Empire of the Dead, fully compatible with bringing over to Empire of the Dead. So let's pop this baby open and have a look because there's some figures in here that I am desperate to see. So I'll just move the plastic out the way and what have we got first? Okay, We have here, which I'm not sure whether he's a chimney sweep or a lamp lighter. Um, I'll probably know better once I've got a base coat on him. Um, I'm not sure. Well, something I should point out, I've mentioned before the Empire of the Dead figures come with premium bases. The Vampire Wars don't. They come with the slug at the bottom for standing them on. Um, I may or may not keep the slug or I may chop that off and attach them to bases. I'm not sure yet, so they come with the slug. Um, but, yeah, another cool, clean, nice figure. Slight mould line on the hat there, nothing to be concerned about. Um, very, very impressive little figure. Um, with the side burn running right down to the chin line. So that's the first one. See, give me your comments, tell me what you think this guy's job is. Um, but it's either a lamp lighter, in my opinion, or a chimney sweep. Not sure. So what else have we got? We have a heavier set fella here. Not sure if he's got any other job other than to be a thug looking at him. Um, big massive chin on him. Dolph Lundgren would be proud. Hey, Judge Dredd would be proud with that chin. Look, I, I am the law. So, not sure what this guy's fatal job would be other than a, a heavy for the streets. It's hard to get some of the stuff to stand because I've got stuff underneath this mat. And then we have a drunk. Cool, like him. Drunk or somebody partying merrily. So, like him too. Big beer belly, so it's got to be a drunk. Cool, lots of cool detail. Again, you'll see these when I paint them up. Distinguished old gentleman civilian. He's nice bowler hat, heavy beard. Hopefully you're picking up a lot of the detail of these. So you'll see a lot more when I get them painted up. I just want to do the unboxing, let you see some of these figures. Makes me think of a, a sailor again, this sort of fella. His sack of clothes coming back off the ship, scarf blown in the wind, another very nice little sculpt. A lot of character to these models. If they're anything like the other Empire of the Dead Westwind figures that I painted, the paint goes on so easily. Um, as I heard Voodoo Orc saying about the stuff that he painted up for, I forgot what it's called, I've got their, got their game as well. Flintlock. Um, then the paint just they paint themselves because that's pretty much how it felt when I painted up my brotherhood. So we've got another wee fella here, possibly a newspaper render selling newspapers. Maybe that's the sort of impression I've got there. Papers under the arms, papers holding out. Yeah, that's where it'll be. Times, get your times here. Times. So, yeah, cool. For to him as well. Now I'm wondering, as I said, we had a thug. Does this little fella go with a thug? Bulldog and thug? Two go hand in hand, don't they? Yeah, I know the bulldog represents Britain. 
a broad blah de blah it's the image of that, but hey. Build organ thug. It's an evocative image. You're London heavy. So cool. Like that too. Really looking forward to painting that. So even for that it's not supposed to go with that, I think that's how I'll be putting it. Now what have we got? An old gent. Slight issue there. The cane appears to be bent, but put a little bit of heat onto that and then I'll bend it to shape. Could maybe just bend it, but I don't want to break it, but that's nothing major again. Nice clean model. Um, reminds me of some sort of American Southern gent, this fella as well. Obviously he's not, because he's London civilians, but it's just what my impression is immediately of him. So, cool. like him a lot too. I can't say there's one in here that I haven't liked. Um, so, very, very nice. Many anyway, we on, we're on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this will be 9. And what do we have here? We've got an organ grinder. Cool. Always like the organ grinder. Just be careful in case he steals your kids. Very, very cool. But if you're going to have an organ grinder, what do you need? You need a monkey! The organ grinder with his monkey. Oh, some stuff. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I can't wait to paint this one. There may be a fight over this one as well. But I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Didn't know that was in there, didn't see that in the images. Um, but organ grinder and his monkey and the final figure so it's 11 figures as I said I thought it was um, I'm not 100% sure what this guy is he could be a butcher he could be a barber could be a leather worker a tanner um, I think this one's pretty open again as to what he could be I think he's too clean looking to be a butcher so I think I'll probably get him painted up as a barber maybe. Seems to fit with that nicely trimmed tash there. He's too well groomed probably to be anything else. Definitely too well groomed to be a blacksmith or a leather worker, I think a tanner. So probably be doing him as a barber. Mold line there, but again not huge, that'll clean up quickly. Again, pretty flash free. So, that's those figures. Again, hope you like them. They will be getting painted up soon. Yes, canvas, they'll be getting done. I know you were harassing me, tell me more Empire of the Dead in one of my comments um, when it wasn't Empire of the Dead I showed. So, yep, we'll be getting more shown. Um, and there's only one more figure to go, so I'll show you that in the next vid. Take care, guys. Bye bye.